Welcome to Highline Excel class number one. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download this workbook, Week 1, Business 214. This is a class at Highline Community College. Now, this is an intermediate to advanced class, so I am going to start the class by reviewing. But I'm going to review the basics in fast motion. It's not like the uh, basics class that I teach or the basics series at YouTube. Now, the, all the topics for um, this review are here on this topic sheet. What is Excel sheet? Let's just talk about the basics. Hey, uh, there's a column. There's column C. There's a row, row 3. The intersection is a cell C3. Columns are represented by letters. You see that uh, letter C, the C column and rows are represented by three. Now why is that important? Because when we get to cell references, one of the hardest topics for people, beginning and advanced, it matters very much that you know C means column and three means row. Now if that's a cell, what are all these cells together? They're called the worksheet, worksheet or sheet for short. Hey, what's this down here? That's the name of the sheet. What is Excel? Text and numbers, topics. Those are the names of the sheets. This is called a sheet tab. And the name in the sheet tab is the name of the worksheet. Hey, now what about all of these workbooks? What are all these workbooks called? Hey, all the sheets make up the workbook. And you can see the workbook name up here. Now, how do we scroll through these? The fastest way to do it is to hold Control and Page down. Notice how not only am I moving through the sheets, but the actual sheets, sheet tabs are moving. It's OK to use this. That just moves the sheet uh, tabs, but not the active sheet. So page down goes to the right, and page up goes to the left. Um, so workbook, all of these things. But what about this extension here? Uh, .xls means it's compatible with earlier versions. If you're using 2007, it only has 65,536 rows, not the million 48,000 that are in Excel 2007. If you want to use Excel 2007, use this extension, .xlsx, but that does not allow macros. .xlsm allows you to use macros. Macros means writing code. When do you use .xls? Hey, most of us still have to use .xls because we're sharing files with everyone. Dot, if you're using uh, only 2007 and you're only sharing people with 2007, then use one of these. Now, what about the ribbon? Hey, what, what are these up here? I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut Alt-F1. I think I hit the wrong keyboard shortcut there. It's not Alt-F1. It's Control-F1 to toggle this on and off. Alt-F1, as we will see uh, later, creates a chart. So I'm going to delete that chart. Control-F1 toggles on and off this ribbon. You can also right-click, uh, minimize, right-click, uh, unminimize. So there's all of these ribbons. And we'll talk about these as we go through the class and do the different topics. These replace the menus. So uh, here in the home, there's some alignment, some font, and data. There's some things like text to column, filter, sort. Now, what's this up here? This is called the Quick Access Toolbar. I'm going to click back on the Home ribbon. These are actually called tabs. I always call them ribbons. The whole thing is a ribbon. These are tabs. But I always call them just ribbons because I like you know ribbons on presents on Christmas morning. Hey, this is called the Quick Access Toolbar, or QUAT. And people like this because they the, the if you're in the data ribbon and you need something on the home, uh, you have to go click on the home and get it. But if it's on the quat, you can just click it and keep your ribbon data always open. So I've got to show you about the quick access toolbar. Right click and you can show below the ribbon. You can also right click and show above. But I want to show you how to add buttons. Here's the home. I always use this uh, paint bucket, which is fill the cell with color. So watch this. Right click, add to access, uh, quick access. Right click, add to quick access. How about uh, increase and decrease? I always use those. Now, the advantage to this is having it there is when you're on the data ribbon, if you're doing lots of data analysis, you can just uh, at any time get one of these instead of going back to the home ribbon. Another amazing trick for the quat, and this is probably the number one trick for Excel 2007 for people who used earlier versions, 
Now I want to right click the quad and go to customize. And here's the trick. Customize. This opens up Excel options. Here's the trick. Uh, popular commands. I don't know why they have that pop up by default. We're going to go to all commands. Remember this is the best trick there is because all thousand some odd things that you can do or elements of Excel are in this list. So you can go and add any single one of them. And here's the really cool thing. If you always in earlier versions used five point stars and you can't find it in the ribbon, it's in this list and there's a bunch of things they left out of the ribbon. So all you do is you hover your mouse and look it says command not in ribbon. If that's the case, if it's something that's not in the ribbon that you used to use, you click on it and click add and it adds it over here. Another one, if I click over here and type and type the letter S, jumps down to the uh, S's. I don't want to find speak on enter. Speak on enter. I already have that one. Uh, no, I don't have that one. Here it is. Uh, speak on enter. That's another one that's not in the list. So I'm going to click add. That's it. That's the greatest trick I know. All commands under customize, they're all there. So if you can't find something, uh, maybe it's not in there, or watch this. If you hover it, it'll tell you where it is in the ribbon. So sort descending is home tab editing sort descending. So if you can't find stuff, use that trick right there. All right, I'm gonna click this uh, OK way down at the bottom. So now I have my little buttons there. Now. Um, the last thing uh, on this tab is just these are the scroll bars. They move uh, left to right and up and down. And we will have some big spreadsheets to so know how to do that is important. Now I'm going to turn this off with Control F1, not Alt F1. Go to Text and Numbers. Very important. Let's see the difference between words and numbers. I'm going to put uh, type Excel is fun. Enter. Is fun. No, wait a second. Look at that. Notice I have Speak on Enter, right? Now I'm going to type the number 43 and watch this enter. 43. Oh, Excel's talking to me. I'm going to write uh, turn that I'm off just by Very important. Words are aligned to the left, words are text and numbers are to the right. And this will become very important um, in the basics class that uh, I have at YouTube and at Highline, we covered what a date is and what a time is. You know, a date is not really a date. <clears throat> when you type this date in right here and you go to format cells which is control one I'm going to control one boop. you can see on the number tab date it's got a format but if you go back to general no way 36,924 that's the number of days since December 31st 1899 and that's to enable date math which we talked about in the basics and I'll review just a little bit coming up I'm going to click cancel all of these, because they're aligned uh, by default to the right, we can assume that they're numbers. All of these, by default, are, are aligned to the left. Now, you can mess that up if you go to the Home tab right here, Home tab, and start aligning. That's why you basically shouldn't align stuff. As you're learning more and more about Excel, you'll understand more and more how important it is to not use this and simply, for formatting reasons, and simply let numbers and text align naturally the default way. But well, let me click on this. Now, you may get confused and think, oh, that's a text. Because there's lots of problems when numbers get dumped into Excel, and we'll see this later in the class, where we ha we think this is a date and we try to do date math, and it won't work because it's text. I'm going to Control-Z. Numbers to the right, text to the left. Uh, keyboard shortcuts, the next uh, sheet tab here. Very important. Control C, Control X, Control V, copy, cut, paste, save, save as. I'm just going to show you a, one or two here because I want to emphasize these in this class because they are faster. Let's say our cursor is right there. You don't have your hand in your mouth, but it's right there. And your goal is to copy this whole section and paste it right next to it. Instead of using your mouse, highlighting, right click, copy, click in here, right click, paste. I'm going to control Z and I'm going to click escape to turn the dancing ants off. Okay, so that took a while. Your cursor's right here. Use the control um, the control key and the down arrow and watch what happens. 
right? It jumps to the bottom of the current region. Now control up arrow. Now down arrow. Control down arrow, control up arrow. That moves to the bottom of the current region. Now, that's not going to help us with copying this whole thing and pasting it over here, but watch this. What if we hold Shift and with our mouse, I'm holding Shift right now, if I click right here, that's called the bookend method. I've clicked there and there, and because I was holding Shift, everything in between is highlighted. So watch this. We'll combine those two tricks. The cell is highlighted. I hold Control and Shift and down arrow. Notice this is the active cell. I'm going to Control C. Now, I'm, because the active cell is at the top, I'm going to left arrow and control V. That's a lot faster. And I'm going to control Z, escape to turn the dancing ants off. Now, just watch this in fast motion. You ready? Control Shift, down arrow, control C, left arrow, control V. A lot faster. Uh, here's another example. Um, if you're doing the sum function, SUM. And you have your cursor right there. This is a huge column, and you don't want to have to click and drag because you keep going down and down and down. Forget that. You want to go equal sum, and I'll show you the, the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. We'll learn that right now. Is alt equals. Alt equals. If you don't believe me, in the home tab right here, if you hover your cursor, you see it says Alt equals. So that's another great thing about 2007. It has all the uh, keyboard shortcuts. But watch this. Alt equal is a keyboard shortcut for auto sum. And notice that dancing ants are jumping around that cell E2. If I hold Control Shift and down arrow, it immediately goes down 450 rows. Now, instead of hitting Enter, which put, oh, I'll hit Enter. Right? And there it is. So that's keyboard shortcuts. In this class, I will emphasize them greatly because they rule. They are fast. Here's a whole list of some keyboard sh shortcuts on uh, this tab here. A lot of them, which we'll do in this class. There's 162. I got it at this website. It's not all of them. I've never seen a list with all of them because there's just too many. All right, uh, when we come back, we're going to review like three weeks of formula stuff from basic Excel class in uh, 10 or 15 minutes. All right, see you next video.